Hey peeps. Hey peeps. This is Diane and Randall Bro. Another wind down. Another wind down. Don't um, be thrown off by the fact that we're wearing the same clothes as last time. <laughs> it's a complete coincidence. Just pretend just like. Just pretend. Yeah. Yeah. We did a well, costume change. Well, we just had two great ideas and we wanted to get them out there yeah. as fast as we could to well, you guys. We still had time to record this. So. Exactly. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah, that's right. What are we um, going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about something that's very near and dear to a lot of real estate agents, heart. They may not always admit to it, but we will. Yeah. We have no shame and yeah. we have no game. Yeah. More game than shame, I <laughs> we think. We have more game than shame. Um, I'm a firm believer, being a Catholic born and bred in New Orleans, yeah. in um, a real, little bit of- Real estate voodoo. Real estate voodoo. Yeah, let's call it that. Yeah, real estate voodoo. And I think some of you realtors out there may know. Yeah. and some of All you of them in not. New Orleans will know. All of them in New Orleans, but here we go. The power of Saint the St. Joseph. Joseph statue. Yeah. Now, St. Joseph is part of the nativity scene. He, yes, right? that is correct. Yeah, so he's not the father of Jesus. He's, no. No, he's kind of like the stepfather he's, of exactly, Jesus. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And the power of the St. Joseph statue is, St. Joseph is the patriarch of family. He acts as the patriarch of families. He's someone, he's an intercessor, to, so to speak. Okay. Um, you can send your thoughts and prayers to him. Uh, help me. Help me with my family. Help me protect my family. Help me sell my house. Help me sell my house. Yeah. He is kind of like, um, I'll help you out with the family. Help you yeah. out with the house. You know, and so yeah. a lot of realtors will bury the statue in the yard of St. Yeah. Joseph. Yeah. And it helps you. This is our personal favorite. Yeah. The thing is that they say, bury him head down. Well, yeah, you know, feet I, up. Feet I, up. Okay, Feet so up. I googled this. No, I I did. And there was no consensus as to well, how to bury Well, I him. do it my way, and my yeah. way is head down, is the pickle feet up. Way. That's yeah, correct. The pickle lady. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that, we're gonna do it. So, my what way. is your way? Head down. Yeah. Feet up. Yeah. Preferably by your for sale sign. By the for sale sign. And say a quick prayer to Saint Joseph. Yeah. Bless my family. Bless this lovely home that we just lived in. Yeah. Um. Uh, thank you for protecting us. And send us forward into our new home with happy yeah. memories and and help us find and all that stuff. Really, the key is help us find a good buyer for good this buyer. place. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. And Joseph. so it it really does not fail. Yeah. So if you bury him head down, feet up, by your for sale. Now sign, does he look at the for sale sign? Does he look out towards? Uh, no, I prefer looking out because you're looking forward to your looking future. Forward, you're looking forward to your future, okay. carrying all of your family memories with you in the future. Yeah. And he just kind of um, is, is a guiding, he can be a guiding force, yeah. of course, along. Yeah. Now, you know, I played with, St. Joseph in a, in a nativity scene when I was in fourth grade. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah. I actually, you know what's so weird? Yeah. I was married. You were? <laughs> I was married. <laughs> Two different plays. Two different plays. Two different plays. I've known him for 35 years. I never knew I that. I didn't know you were married. I was married. It was destined. It yeah. was destiny. And my mom made me a pretty blue, <laughs> a pretty blue dress. I'll never forget. I, it was itchy. I had it was itchy. itchy. Yeah, itchy, I had itchy, a itchy. sack and a rope. That's no. all. And I had to kneel the whole I time. I think she made me marry because I had long blonde hair yeah. or something. I, I don't know. I just looked really holy. <laughs> It was, we were destined to be realtors because, you know, that's hilarious. You got the whole nativity thing. So, anyway, we are a firm believer in it. Yeah. Um, and it, it, nothing, everything always helps with a little bit of prayer and a little bit of thoughtful meditation. That's right. Thoughtful meditation and sending good, positive vibes out there. Yeah. And if St. Joseph can help us along the way, it's certainly not going to hurt. Yeah. Right? That's right. There was, a, there was some, a story I saw online about a guy who didn't believe about the St. Joseph statue. So his wife or the realtor, somebody buried the statue. So he dug it up and he threw it away. <gasps> and then the next day, no. he's reading in the paper that the dump, like the, <gasps> the local dump, was sold. Oh. <laughs> The dump sold. The dump sold. I, com probably completely. Uh, well, for all of you fellow agents yeah. or fellow potential clients who are trying to sell their home and maybe hitting some stumbling blocks, uh, you know. Amazon Prime, baby. Yeah. Or hit us up. We'll send. Yeah. We'll send you St. Joseph's. Statue. Amazon Prime. Yeah. yeah. I gladly will send yeah. you one. Yeah. You want one? Uh, I, really, I mean, we'll we're doing tongue in cheek, but you know, there's as I said, there's nothing wrong with yeah. a little uh, intense prayer and meditation. 
uh, on what your future will be. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about karma too. And yeah, and yeah, okay. blessings on your former home. Okay. Anyway, Amazon Prime, ten in a bag, not yeah. bad. We this is a thing. Yeah, you this, might want to hit the pickle well, lady. Yeah. Say you want. This is a real thing, people. Yeah. The other thing I'm a very strong believer in is saging your home. Okay. Very, very important. Sometimes there's just negative energy, um, and it's it's great if you can find someone who is uh, really well versed connected. and well yeah. educated and well connected to yeah. the earth, yeah. Mother Earth. Yeah. And there is uh, honestly, am yeah. I right? Yeah. Nothing more powerful than watching someone come in and just uh, kind of represent Mother Earth and sage your home and take some of the energy out or, or help someone to take <laughs> Mother Earth, horrible. you're being attacked by mosquitoes. I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. You need to sage. So saging is, what is sage? It's saging, like a plant. It's it's a plant. Yeah, and, and you burn and you it. light it right. and you burn it and you kind of go around and yeah. someone has some their own personal incantations and yeah. and, uh, and that's it's a takes process. takes negative energy it from the Takes negative space. energy yeah. um, and makes everything kind of equal again and whole. Sometimes it's important um, also to have someone just carry a crystal and go from room to room and discuss positive and happy yeah. memories because sometimes a house is blocked from being sold just because of your intense love and attachment to the home because yeah. you brought your family Because you haven't let go. You haven't let go. And so transferring all of those feelings towards a crystal that you can carry with you into the future, yeah. into your next home, enables you to kind of easily let go of that and let someone else come in and say, oh, I'm ready to make my new attachments yeah. here. And we learned that so from our good friend Karma. We did. Our good friend Karma, she uh, she's amazing yeah, she and um, she's very much uh, just an amazing person super super connected to everything she's like mother nature yeah and uh, you know so she will also do saging if there's a lot of bad energy and that just cleanses your home of that um, it's also great for blessings yeah. when you're moving into a yeah. home it's really yeah. great start so thank new. you Carmen Yes, yeah. thank you, Karma. Yeah. I've never seen anything so touching as when yeah. I see her work. Um, it's a beautiful, I think I, beautiful I thing. I saw her was see. a little, uh, a little doubtful, but I think no? it was a believer by the end. Of right. It. It's a very, very powerful. powerful. Yeah, it's a very it powerful. And very touching. Very touching, sweet thing to yeah. see. Yeah. So we are here to tell you, as agents, uh, not only do we work super hard and try to find you clients, but we are always have you in our mind. Yeah. We're always meditating have a lot of prayer uh, we don't just wing this it's a lot yeah, a right lot of, a lot of powers coming to bear it's here. a lot of yeah. powers we try to yeah. bring it all to you not That's only right. do we do our homework and the regular advertising and the business side of it but there's also a really powerful spiritual side to it too. To selling your home that absolutely. we believe in that I believe in yeah absolutely and I think you know if we can teach our our sellers the same thing um, it makes everybody move on peacefully yeah and go on to our next adventure. So Absolutely. anyway, when in doubt, St. Joseph, yeah. here he is. Some saging. Some saging. Yeah. Some I'm crystals. all for we'll it. We'll do it all. It's Realtor's well-known we'll little all. secret, but we'll be the only ones who really talk about it. But <laughs> hey, I own up to it. I'm open to everything in the universe. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, it was great Cheers. seeing you again. Cheers. Have a wonderful, fantastic week and take care. Call me if you need anything at 713-302-1964. Happy to bring you my pickles as well as a little St. Joseph if you need one. All right, guys. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.